Jack Baldwin was sat in MIT during 1976. He'd been reading the chemical literature and started to see patterns regarding some of the reactions he was reading about. He decided to set these ideas down in a paper and they later became known as Baldwin's Rules. Now we need to be a little bit careful with Baldwin's Rules because they are not written in stone. That would make for far too heavy a journal. What I mean to say is they're more guidelines than rules. There are examples where the Baldwin's Rules say this reaction will not happen. And in reality, it does. So why am I telling you about them? Well, because by and large, they are very good predictors of whether a reaction will happen. So what are Baldwin's rules? Well, they seek to predict whether a ring will form or not. They use three factors to do this. One is the nature of the atom being attacked to form the ring. Is it tetrahedral or tet? sp3 if you like. Is it trigonal or trig? sp2 if you like. Or is it diagonal or dig? sp if you like. We're going to use the abbreviations tet, trig and dig as they are traditionally used when discussing Baldwin's rules. A second factor is whether the reaction is exo or endo. So what do we mean by that? Well, exo is where a bond is broken external to the ring. And endo is where a bond is broken internal to the ring. The final factor is the size of the ring that would potentially be formed. Baldwin looked at three-membered rings, four-membered rings, five-membered rings, six-membered rings, and finally, seven-membered rings. This allows to create a little table. Some of these reactions are favored and some are unfavored. Baldwin observed that this seemed to be the pattern regarding favored and unfavored reactions. There are a few of these observations that were not in the original paper, and they are marked with an asterisk. Let's go through the table and look at some examples here. Firstly, I'd like to consider tet endo. So tet endo by Baldwin's rules is not possible. It is unfavored. Next, we're going to look at tet exo. By Baldwin's rules, these are all favored. Let's move on to trig. Trig endo is partially favored and partially unfavored. The trig endo five-membered ring is unfavored. But the trig endo six-membered ring is favored. From endo, let's look at exo. Trig exo is all favored. Now let's consider dig. Dig endo is all favored. But dig exo is partially favored. Dig exo five membered ring is favored, whilst Dig XO four-membered ring is unfavored. 